Hello everyone. Today uh, I would like to go over how to do a small signal analysis on a common source configured CMOS amplifier. As you can see here, this is an example of a common source configuration. So here we have um, the input is at the gate, the output is at the drain, and uh, the source is connected to the ground. So as you can see, the gate and the drain, they're sharing the same, the common source. That's why we say this is a common source configuration. Uh, there is a drain resistor connected between the output node and the VDD supply. So the goal here is that we would like to find out what is the um, voltage gain of this amplifier. Uh, I know I use the notation A sub V. A stands for the amplitude and the sub V, the V stands for voltage. And R out is the output resistance that looking into the device from the V out terminal. And R in is the input resistance looking into the device from the V in input. So let's draw the small signal model of this circuit. There's a dependent source here. GM times VGS and uh, R0 is used as a the model of the internal resistance of this CMOS transistor. So in the small signal analysis uh, what we do is that we treat these um, DC supply voltage as a uh, uh, short it to the ground. So whenever there is a DC, let's replace it to the ground. And uh, here there is the drain resistor. V input here and uh, V output here. Now if we um, if we clean things up a little bit We can combine the R0 with the drain resistor like this as if there were a single resistor. Here it's connected to the ground and uh, this is the V in. This is the V out. Now let's apply the KCL and the K KVL. Assume the current goes into this branch called I1 and the current goes into this, this branch is called I2. The, according to the KCL, the total current flowing into the node should equal to the total current flowing out of that same node. So for this node, there's no current really flowing in because the V out is an open. So in that case, the I1 plus I2 equals to 0. So I1 equals to GM times VGS 
which is the voltage drop between gate and source, which is this guy. This guy is GM times VGS. And uh, I2 equals to V out over R naught in parallel with RD. So also V in minus zero, which is the ground potential, equals to VGS. Because here clearly it shows that the voltage drop between the V in and the source is VGS. Now if you plug if you uh, combine all of these four expressions, you will get GM times VGS plus V out divided by R naught in parallel with RD equals to zero replace VGS with V in GM times V in equals to minus V out over R naught parallel with RD and uh, you massage this equation a little bit V out over V in equals to minus GM times R naught in parallel with RD which is the definition of the voltage gain so we have it now next up let's take a look at R out so in order to find out R out here's what we need to do Let's draw the small signal model again. This is the ground. And let's connect the V in to the ground. Here is the GM times VGS. This time uh, for because we're looking into the device, all that's being left here is R0. Because if you recall from the previous slide, we're looking into the device. So the RD, the drain resistor, is out of the picture. We only need to consider the internal uh, resistance, which is modeled with uh, the notation R0. And in order to calculate the R out. One technique we can apply is that we apply a test voltage source here. Let's call it V sub X. And uh, this test voltage generates a test current called I sub X. Essentially, what we are after is R out equals to VX over ix. Now let's apply the KCL and KVL again. So the ix flows into this node should equal to the two currents that flowing out of this node. So let me draw this in green. Green represents the current flowing into the node which is the ix and the red represents for the close the current flowing out of this node. So Ix equals to G 
GM times VGS plus VX divided by R0. And uh, also note that the VGS really is zero. So this term is completely gone. And here, what do we have? We have VX over IX equals to R0 which is the definition of R out. Okay. And finally, We need to solve for the R in. And here again, let's apply the same technique. Let's say we place a test voltage called Vy, which generates a test current of um, I sub Y. So the input resistance looking into the CMOS device is defined as V sub Y over I sub Y. But unfortunately here that the I sub Y really is um, zero because there's nothing, this, there's, this is an open circuit between, um, the, uh, uh, between this node and the source. It's really an open circuit. There are parasitic capacitance in between, but the circuit is really open. So there are only current flowing in, but nothing coming out. So the current flowing in has to be zero, which means that this whole term approaches infinity. So overall, in, to summarize, the voltage gain equals to minus GM times R load. The output resistance equals to R naught. And the input resistance is close to infinity. Thank you for watching.